Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today we're gonna be digging into the next tone special by Boss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if someone comes up to you and asks you, well, what kind of features are you looking for in a guitar amp? And your answer is yes. Well, I think the amp for you is this. This is the Next Tone Special by Boss. It's a wonderful blend of uh, analog and modern digital technology, as well as physical hardware, all in one convenient light package. And it's as crazy or as simple as you want it to be. Very interesting. Uh, the Next Tone Special is the big boy. It gets pretty darn loud and you can tell there are two channels here. You have uh, a clean channel and a lead channel with a full knob complement for each one so there's no compromises there. There are effects that you could have easy access to, solo buttons, as well as a different tube and EQ voicings. There's also an IR out in the back. So if you wanna go to front of house without uh, miking your amp, well, you can do that and have it sound really, really wonderful too. But where things get really exciting is when you start digging into this amp, there's an app. And in the app, you can really start tweaking some really interesting things with this amp to get out some really unique sounds, especially when you're playing with the effects section. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this guitar. I got a little Friedman Vintage S. I'm gonna plug it into the Next Tone Special. I'm gonna dial in some sounds, show you a little bit about what's going on in this amp, and we'll really see what kind of cool sounds there are in this big box. Well, we are all wired up and ready to go. This is the flagship of the entire Next Tone series, so it does have all the big dog features. Big dog 12 inch speaker here, and the big dog wattage, 80 watts, but right now I have it at 0.5 because even at 0.5, it's pretty darn loud. Uh, there's three tone settings here. That is just uh, presets you can save. So all the settings you have here, you just hold on to the button and it will save it, which is great, especially if you have multiple rigs or you need different sounds for different situations. Easy to recall. Right now I have it set on panel. So what you see is what you get. The entire top row is all the knobs for the clean channel. And this bottom row here, up to here at least, is all the distortion channel stuff. But we're gonna start clean because I always start clean. Uh, right now I'm in the American EQ setting with a little reverb and I'm using that 6L6 power amp voicing. Let's hear what that sounds like. <clears throat> That's a wonderful place to start, isn't it? We can play it with different power amps. This is the 6V6. And we can even mix the EQ. So I'm the American EQ. Let's go for a British sound with the American tube. kind of wolf tone. But for me, actually the clean sound I like is the EL34 into the American EQ. There's just something really nice about that sound. Doesn't 
that sound lovely? Uh, we have a tone knob over here, which sounds to me like a bright switch. And we can just maybe cut a little treble here. And look at that, it just opens up the sound a bit. We have a delay, let's turn that on. And there's the tap tempo for the tempo. Yes, 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 yes. Let's hear the gain channel. Here we go. So a lot was going on there. Uh, I added the boost and I added the solo. So that solo is just a little bit of a, a gain push to get me more out there in terms of volume. Now let's really start digging in. You might notice I have a boost, a delay and a reverb, but there's only one knob going on. Well, if you want, you can get everything you want done just with those three knobs, all the knobs on the app. But when you really want to dig in and get some crazy stuff, hook this thing up to a computer and then you can use the app and you can unlock some really cool hidden features. Check out what we got going on in this app. So in this app, you can tell I have all the knobs laid out exactly like it is on top of the amp, so I can control it from here. And then I have my three effects and on boost, you can tell I have it set to clean boost, but I have a couple different options. I can add treble boost, I could get a vintage boost. Here's a really cool one, octave boost. I don't think you'll ever hear a stock guitar amp make this kind of sound. <laughs> That is just lovely, <laughs> lovely stuff. Uh, in the app too, you could save presets. You could have a whole library of different sounds. You even have a lot of other hidden features. Noise suppressors, if you have hummy pickups. You could change the role of the tone knob on your amplifier over here. And you could also add different EQs. What I like to do sometimes is I like to just do a little bit of a cut. Uh, right at about 4K, and that gets rid of some of the nasty frequencies I'll hear in my strat sometimes. And you could choose to put it either before or after your preamp. So you could really do a lot of tone shaping. On top of that, you have your power amp. You can choose how much sag and bias. You could change the character of your power amps. Just really, really deep controls. But let's just go back to the effects and really show you some other things we can do with that. Go back to the clean channel over here and you'll notice under the boost section, I put an overdrive. I could even put a compressor, but that overdrive is that overdrive pedal in front of an amp sound, which is just a very different sound than just amp overdrive. <laughs> And last but not least, let's say I wanna get like a classic Fender sound. Well, I can go into the reverb, put it under spring, and look at this, instead of delay, I'll put tremolo, and all of a sudden, I can get that nice Fender blackface amp tone. <laughs>
And that is the next tone special by Boss. Well, that is it. That's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the next tone special, please check it out on Patreon. I like to do uh, my demos and tutorials and videos here on YouTube, but all my reviews are on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon subscribers. My question for all of you out there is, if you get an amp like this, would you be happy with just uh, using the knobs on board or would you be the kind that's gonna be digging into the app and really start tweaking those special parameters? Let me know in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.